everyone, welcome to the kitchen. As usual, I've got a lovely recipe for you today and it's a pavlova. It's next level pavlova because I'm gonna shape it and make it look really, really pretty. Make sure your bowl's completely clean and free of any grease, everything at room temperature. First thing I'm gonna do is get my egg whites into the bowl. So it's best to crack them in a separate bowl. Your fingers are naturally great egg separators, so I do it like that. So I'm going to use four egg whites, and you can save your egg yolks to make loads of different things, so don't throw them away. Start breaking down the egg whites. So I'm just going to mix them on slow. Now that's looking lovely and bubbly, I'm going to turn up the speed and whip it up to its lovely and stiff peaks. Here we go. So the, yeah, it's holding stiff peaks. When you're adding your sugar, make sure you do do it slowly, about a tablespoon at a time otherwise it can collapse the meringue. So just gradually getting that in there. there. And look at this, lovely, stiff and glossy. I've got a teaspoon of vinegar, which helps to stabilise it. A couple of teaspoons of vanilla. A tablespoon of corn flour. In it goes. Because that's what you're looking for in a meringue. You want it to be lovely and crunchy on the outside. And soft and marshmallowy on the inside. Use a little bit of that meringue to stick my parchment paper down. I like to just add a tiny, tiny bit of vegetable oil. Just to prevent it sticking. So just pile it all out in one. Do a big blob. Look at this. Bouncy fella. Have you ever seen such a bouncy meringue in your life? Have you ever seen such a bouncy meringue in your life, Sarah? Never. So you don't have to use a turntable. I've got a turntable, so I'm going to use it. But I want to be spinning it. So I'm using my palette knife, and I'm just going to kind of flatten it down a bit to start with. I suppose the shape that I'm trying to get it into, if I'm imagining it, is kind of almost like a dog bowl shape to start with. Flatten it over the top. Around the side. Now, create a bit of a dip inside for all the lovely cream to be poured into once it's baked. So press it down like that, smooth over the, round it back up again. You can bake it like this if you like, but I like to add a little bit of detail on the side. So I've got a small palette knife and I'm just pressing on the side like this and just bringing it over into the middle, okay? Smooth that down, I'm gonna put that meringue back on the top there. Don't want to waste it. The final part um, about the important bit of baking meringue, uh, uh, a meringue is it's going to go into the oven at 120 degrees for 20 minutes. Then I'm going to reduce the heat to about 100 degrees, like 95, 100 degrees. I'm going to leave that baking in there for an hour and a half so it's completely cooked on the outside, still mallowy on the inside. Then it's very important that you turn off the oven and you do not open the oven door. Uh, uh, uh. You leave the oven door shut and you let it cool down. So you can do it the night before if you want to, and just leave it in the oven. So in that goes, and I'll come back with a freshly baked meringue and show you how to fill it. So I'm gonna make some Chantilly cream, so dash of vanilla to taste into double cream and some icing sugar. I'm just gonna whip it up to soft peak consistency. You do need to be careful not to over whip cream or it can suddenly curdle. You want to keep it slightly under whipped because as I transfer it into the pavlova, whether I pipe it or spoon it, it's going to thicken up. It just needs a tiny touch more, so I'm just going to... Literally, I'll just do this last bit just with my whisk not even turned on, just so I can feel when it's right. Perfect. You see, that's just, just holding soft peaks now. Ta-da! I'm just going to bump in a little bit, fill it up with my cream. In it goes. You can use any fruit on pavlova. It's quite nice with mango and pineapple or figs and plums or anything you fancy. Maybe not cheese, but any fruits you might like. More cream here just to dress the top. Just thinking about which design I might do. I might just stick these up a bit, you know, and my little strawberry shark swimming in my pavlova ocean. <laughs> And there you have it. Check out my pavlova. What do you think? One last thing, little 
dusting of icing sugar. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and all that. Everything you need to make, this is just down there and I'll see you soon. Bye. I really want to just dive into this. Mm -hmm.